This episode was brought to you by Tiger Eye 4 c Sander Fett, Gordo, Crispy808, Louise, Robert Tubois, Joe, and Default Yerin. Thank you to all of our Patreons for making this show possible. Good afternoon, Eastern State Admissions Office. How can I help you? Yes, hello. I was exploring the, the grounds here, and I seem to have gotten stuck somewhere. I was looking for a bathroom, but I don't know where I am. Um, could you say that again, please? Yes, yes. I was exploring the grounds, the cells. I was looking for a bathroom, but I couldn't find one, and I don't know where I am. Okay, so you're you're inside? Yes. Uh, what is the... Wh- could you, could you name me something that is close to you? I don't, I don't see anything. It's dark there. Okay. Um, okay. Um, have you fallen down somewhere? No, no. I've been standing the whole time. Okay, but you are inside one of the cell blocks, I take it? I, I believe so. There were cells... Rows and rows of doorways, yes. Okay. Um, what was the last thing you were doing before you became lost? Do you remember? Yes, I, I was pushing on a grate. I found a grate and I thought, oh, perhaps they've hidden the bathrooms back here. But I went through. In the, I don't know. in the bathrooms? I thought it was a bathroom, but it's not a bathroom. There's, there's no toilets here. It's just... It's just Brick and mortar. Okay. All right. Um. Um. Could you? Do you remember anything before that? No, no. Okay. Um. We have a. I'm sorry. I, I was as I was looking for the bathrooms. I really had to go, and I, I had to let loose here. Okay. Well. So we are. Um, we are going to try, uh, so we, uh, we're, we're contact, I've just contacted the site general manager. We're going to see about looking for you. Okay. All right. Um, is there and okay. So I, so please, please remain on the line. Um, I'm going to have someone, the general manager will be down here. We'll, we'll, we'll talk to you. We'll figure out where you are and get, get you some help. All right. Of course. Thank you. No, no, I'm I'm very sorry. Oh, it's quite all right. So I can't take myself anywhere anymore. Well, we'll 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 see about getting you out of where where you where you're at. But it's it's a dark place that's brick and mortar. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, we're gonna have. Okay, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hand you off right now. This is our uh, site manager. All right, okay. dear. Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Kelly. I'm the manager. How can I help you? Yes, I've got it lost somewhere here. I don't know where I am. I was looking for a bathroom. Okay, can you? I, I pushed through a door. Sorry. Uh, Okay, um, can you describe what you're seeing? It's very dark, but when I put my hands on the wall here, it feels like brick and mortar. Okay, do you know what the last thing was before you went into that dark space? Yes, I was looking at the cells. I don't remember if I went into a cell or where I went afterward. I was looking for the, the loo, the bathroom there. I don't think this is a bathroom because there's no lights. Okay, um, could you tell me where you're doing the audio tour? Yes. Okay, what audio yes. stop were you on? The third one, I think. It's maybe the fourth. 
I don't quite remember. I don't know. Do you remember what it was describing? No, no. I was, I was too preoccupied with the, the risk of soiling myself, looking for the bathroom. I was more, more concentrating on that. Okay, could you describe the door you went through? Uh, it was a wood door, I think. It may have been metal, but I was pressing on it for quite a bit of time, and no one, no one came by to say, oh, you can't go that way, dear. So I, I, I kept pushing on it, and eventually you let me in, but you closed behind me, and I, I can't seem to find it. Okay, so... Could you just describe the area you were in before you pushed on this door? I don't quite remember, dear. I'm sorry. My memory's not what it used to be. Could you... So... Could you tell me a little bit more about, like, what color was the door that you pushed on? It was dark. It looked like it was either a dark wood, like a... Like a spruce. Or... Or a cherry, perhaps. But it was very rough on my hands, dear. I thought I was going to get splinters, but, you know, my, my hands seemed to be all right. And what audio stop were you on when this happened again? I think it may have been the third or fourth. I don't, I don't Had you gotten to the center part of the prison yet? I don't know. Had you come to... I don't believe so. Okay, so were you in the first cell block? That, that sounds right, yes. Can you describe if you're hearing anything around you? No, I haven't heard a person in quite a long time. Okay, well, um, I can put you on the phone with another one of our managers. I can head out to that area um, and take a look around. Um, I'm not sure where you're describing. All right. I, I just don't want to be locked up again. What was that? I don't want to be locked up again. I feel like, I feel like back when I was locked up as a... As a young juvenile, I don't want this. I don't want this for myself. Something is very, very smelly down here too. It smells like a dead animal or something came down here and died. How did you get to the site today? I took the bus. I figured I could, I could take a tour of the sights and sounds of this great city by myself. But it seems that everywhere I go, I get I got in a bit of trouble somewhere along the way. Which bus did you take to get here? I don't, I don't recall, dear. Do you know? I have a bit of a problem with my memory. I remember planning this trip out several months ago. My grandson was supposed to come with me, but he's busy with work. So, where are you, so what are you doing so, right now? Where are you at? I'm feeling around, trying to find a door out. But all I feel is... Brick walls, or perhaps a plastered walls. I don't know. My, my phone doesn't give off very much light, so I can't quite see where I'm going. Do you remember um, who rang you up when you came into the building, just so we could get a description? No, no. He may have been a man. He may have had a beard. I, I don't recall. I'm not very good with faces. It's hard enough for me to remember my own face. I did the audio tour because my grandson told me that was the best way to experience the, the, the penitentiary. But I think I may have gone over my head here. I should have taken the, the guided tour. I wouldn't be in this predicament. What's this over here? Oh, Lord! I, I seem to have hit something on the floor here. I don't know what it is. So what was the last thing you were looking at before you went through this door? I was looking at the cells. And, and I went looking for the toilets. But I, I couldn't find a, a sign or a door that said toilets. So I just started pressing on doors. And this one opened and I went through it. That's all I can remember, dear. Okay, well, let me put you on hold for a second, and I'm going to see what we can do. Um, it's really unclear where we're 10 and a half acre property, and I'm unclear about what, where you're describing to me. All right. Over here. Mary, 
Miriam, are you stuck in your bedroom again? What? Miriam, unlock the door! No, I can't. I'm still in the chains. Miriam, what are you doing? Are you on the phone again? Yes, no, I'm not on the phone. Alright, well, I'll get, I'll get the crowbar. Get you out of there again. Alright, that time. <laughs> Hello? Hello there, dear. So, we have someone out looking for you right now. Um, All right. If there is anything else you can remember about what you were doing before you got lost, it, it could be very helpful to us. The audio tour had something about sex in it. Okay. I thought that was quite rude. The, could, uh, could you describe what it was talking about vis-a-vis -vis sex? I don't quite recall, but anything about this sex should be kept under wraps. Even about the prison life, I don't quite agree with including that. It was quite rude. Yes, but I was looking for the toilets. I, 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 I understand. I um. I couldn't find the toilets. Okay. I don't know what I found, but is it? Is it it's quite scary in here, all alone. I can, Im I can imagine. Um, uh, let me think. <sighs> Might be block nine. So, um, just stay, stay on the line, please. All right. Okay. Was it a door that you slid or pulled open? No, I pushed it. I pushed it with all my might. It opened, but it closed. It slammed shut right behind me. Okay. We should open audio stop three. <sighs> hmm. Are you all right there? You're breathing a bit heavy. What's that? Are you all right there? This sound like you're breathing a bit heavy. Okay, no, I'm just trying, I'm trying to think through, because there are relatively few doors that, almost all the doors here slide open and shut, and relatively few of them open and close, or open and close. So I've, I've been try, trying to piece together. There's one detail I, I, I just noticed. There seems to be chains in here. There are chains in there? Yes. Huh. Uh, is there anything else in the room, just chains? Just chains and what, the shackles. That's mm. all I've seen. So I can see with the light on my phone here. Okay. I can't seem to find a doorway out. So I'm not quite sure how, where, where the door is that I, I got in here with. Hmm. Um. We don't... Uh, hmm. Yeah, we don't. Uh, let me think about this. Um. So that that that's all. All you can see in there. Yes, yes. But before I got in here, there was a man pushing a baby cart. I asked him. You you. Where the, the loo was, and he pointed me to this door. He said, right over there, dear. Right over there. Could, could you say... walked away with us. Could you, yeah. could you say that again, please? Yes. There was a man with, with a baby carriage. Okay. I asked. He, he, he pointed me over to this, this door. He said, that's where the bathroom is, dear. You go over there. He pointed. Okay. That's really... Oh. Uh, Hmm. Okay. Um. His, his child. The child looked at me with, with this terrible gaze, just staring deep into my soul. I was a little bit frightened, to be honest. I still. I, I went to the door and I pushed. I kept pushing and it opened and I went through it. Now I can't find a way out. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I am... Um, 
just I'm just try, trying to think. There are are very few, very very few doors that open that way. Okay. I hate to say this, dear, but I've got a case of diarrhea. But I, I was looking for the toilet. And I'm afraid it's 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 coming on. It's coming on now. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to. I have to go where I stand, dear. I'm sorry. Oh dear. Okay. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh. We're just. It's hard hard to determine where on the site you might be from the description we've gotten so oh. far. Good Lord. All right. That's better now. Okay. I made quite a mess in here. Oh, I notice now. The walls, they appear to be white. The, the what? What's white? The walls. Okay, that's walls are white. Um, can you? And you you cannot see the door from where you're at. No, I can't find anything. What I thought was a door, it it was, it was nothing. It was just a, a crack in the wall. I thought you know, maybe it's a hidden door or something. I tried pressing on it, but it won't open. <sighs> okay. And it would. Hmm. Um. Uh, shoot. Okay. Um. Ah. Uh. Shoot. Oh, man. Um. Yeah. Oh. Go for AJ. Hey, are you still? I am. Meet me on fourth? Sure. Hey AJ, could you get a physical description? I'll I'll ask. Um could you please describe what you look like? Um we're gonna we're gonna try to ask other staff members who may have seen you before you recently. Yes. Uh, I'm eighty four years old. Uh, my my hair is in curls. The curled Curled hair. Curled hair. Uh, white. White. White curled hair. So, 80, 84 years old, white curled hair. Yes. Yes. I'm hunched over like a, like a hunchback. Okay. Yes. I have a cane. I have, have a cane. Yes. Let's see. I'm wearing a flower skirt. A flower skirt. And a pink shirt. And a yes. pink shirt. Yes. So, pink shirt, flower skirt, have a cane, um, 84 years old, white white curly hair. Yes, and I wear glasses too. And you have glasses, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Miriam. Okay, M- Miriam. You p- pass that along to Kelly, please. Okay, we are going to pass that... Um, we're gonna, we're we're gonna pass that along and see if anyone see. It. We're gonna try try to piece together your movements. All right, yes. Okay. One then that I've I've made a bow movement where I stand. Excuse me. Yes, uh, I made a bow movement where I am. I, I had a bit of an accident. Could could you say that again, please? Yes, uh, I, I had a bow movement. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. right. Hopefully we can find some kind of clue um, that way. Um, uh, It stinks too. You might be able to find it simply by the smell. Perhaps that was a good thing. Uh, What what was that? It it smells terrible now. So perhaps you'll find me by the smell. I think God's trying trying to give me a hand here. They forced me to. They forced my body to release okay. the foul odor. Und- understood. Um. Okay. Foul odor. Okay. Um. Let's see. All right. Uh. And. Um. And oh shoot! I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm just trying to think of every possible space in the inside of the prison. Perhaps I found something that isn't documented. Oh, I 
we've done pretty pretty thorough surveys of the site over the years. So hopefully that will that will help us. Oh my I'm trying to imagine light over what are those chains on the wall? Chains on the wall. I just noticed Yes. Hmm. There's, there's bones in them. Okay. Is it normal to find bones in the prison? Hmm. Um, can I put you on a, I Oh shoot. Um Um Oh man. Would you These are larger bones. Okay. Um This, this is getting quite What's scary in here? I I can imagine. Um, I can. T hmm. So there is a pretty good possibility um, that those are, what you see are props we use as part of our haunted house in the fall. All right. So let me let me communicate that up the chain of command. All right, dear. All right. AJ for Kelly. Go for Kelly. Someone else is already on four. Um, I'll meet you there, but it'll just be a second. Copy that. Go ahead. Or possibly one. Copy that. I'm here. Hey, I'm right here. Slip down 11. Uh, punish yourself for clear. Okay. Um, so we've... Yeah, I think these are real bones. I picked one up. Mm-hmm. It feels real to my hand. Okay. Um, I am... Um... There's a skull in the corner. Yeah. I'm quite certain that this is a real bone. Okay. Drop that over there. Okay. Um. Is that. Yeah, I am. Going to. Gonna hope that that's not the case because it would. Well, for a number of reasons, but for one thing, that would. That would, uh. That would cut down on the num. That would help us narrow the number of places we need to look in. Um, did you did you come here with anyone else today, or were you by yourself? Oh, by myself, dear. As I get older, I try and challenge myself to, to do things by myself because I don't want to lose my independence. But I've been having a quite quite a hard time lately. Understood. It was far better. A huge mistake on my part. <sighs> I'm so sorry about this. We're we're looking for you as best we can. And if it if at any point you remember anything whatever it was you were doing before you became lost, it would really, really be helpful to us. I wanted to see how Capone sell, but I couldn't find it, so and then I I had to I had to I had to go to the bathroom, and that's what that, that gentleman pushing the, the baby carriage. He pointed me over to here, said this was a loo. I'm a gravel. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, do you recall seeing any, before you got lost, do you recall seeing any large mirrors big enough to see yourself in? Yes, yes. Yes, there was... There was a mirror. Yes, yes. Were there two of them? One on either side of a corridor? I don't recall seeing another one, but I saw one. I hate seeing myself in mirrors. It looks so old. Okay. Um. So. What's the matter of here? I just, I don't want to be locked up anymore. I, I don't, I don't blame you for feeling that way. Um, I was locked up as a juvenile back, back in my home country, England. Mm -hmm. I, I, I went around stealing things and I was, I was caught. They, they locked me up for, for one whole month, a female in prison. And I told myself, I never go back to those ways, never again. And look what happens. I go visit a penitentiary in, in the U.S. and I end up locked away somewhere. 
this is not the way I wanted to spend my holiday. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm very, very sorry about that. Okay. Um, so, uh, before, before you were here, was there anything else you were doing in the city? Oh, I was just walking around there. I was looking for different museums. This one caught my eye because it reminded me of Leavenworth. You, you've seen, you've seen Leavenworth in the past? Yes, yes. It's, uh, quite, quite, quite something from what I understand. I've never, never been out there. Yes. I had a family member in there. They were there for years. I never went in. I just, I just walked by the gates and, you know, I was too scared to go in. Could, could you say that again, please? I'm sorry, it didn't come through quite clearly. Yes, yes. I, I had a family member there. And I was too scared to visit her. I stood by the gates and mm -hmm. just looked up and, yeah, never went in. Okay. I'm sorry about that. My son, he went the wrong way. He was evil. He stopped by the, the cops. He was robbing a store, mm -hmm. and I shot him, and he took him in. He had 15 years on a sentence. He ended up dying there. That's how life goes. I'm sorry, sorry to hear that. Oh no, it, it was a blessing. It was terrible to me. I'm, I'm so sorry. It's all right. Um, so... Uh, I'm very sorry about that. I doubt it. I've turned a corner here. I'm walking along the wall here. What? There's more chains and bones back here. Okay. Um. Is this an attraction of some sort? Yes. Uh, we during the, the the Halloween season we operate a very high quality Halloween attraction that includes in, includes effects that look very much like what you're describing. There's whole skeletons here, strapped down with. The chains and the shackles. Are you sure? Because it, it looks quite real. I, I picked up a bone earlier. It felt real to my hand. It doesn't look like an attraction at all. Hmm. It looks like a real thing. Okay. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Okay. I feel I've stumbled upon some, some sordid secret of this prison. Are, are you still there? Yes. Okay. Um, just stay on the line. We are people are looking for you right now. All right. Hmm. Copy that. Okay. I'm going to transfer you over to the line of the general manager, and we'll take the next. We'll continue the search from there. All right. Yes. <clears throat> Hi, ma'am. Hello. Hi, so I just wanted to check back in. Um, this is Kelly. I'm the manager. Um, so could you describe again where you were at? It seems to be a hall of some sort. The walls are white. But I've been walking around a bit, guiding myself with the wall, my left hand. I, I see light up ahead. It looks like there may be a window over here. I've noticed there's, a, there's, there's what appear to be bodies, bones, a shackle to the wall with chains. It's, it's very dark. Do you remember what time you what? arrived at Eastern State today? It is 11.30 a.m. So you you got here at 11.30? Yes, but I... Oh, sorry. Hold on a moment. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, sometimes I'll get a frog in my throat. Anyhow, 11.30, I walked in the case around 12 or so. Hold on, just uh, for one second, ma'am. Yes. Okay, ma'am, and could you just tell me um, which way you purchased your ticket today? We're just trying to get some locators. 
My grandson purchased it for me. My phone's doing weird things now. Mm-hmm. Yes, my grandson, he, he ordered the tickets online, I believe. Okay, what was the name under? Miriam Jones. Okay, well, we don't have that record for any purchases on our ticket. Um, we have already looked up your name on the tickets, and we don't have any tickets purchased for a Miriam Jones. I'll pick them up. I, I don't understand. I'm in a prison. I don't know what to tell you. I'm getting quite upset now. Well, we've looked everywhere that where you're describing and where it would be, and there's we're really at a loss. Oh dear, oh dear, wait a minute, what's this here? There's a door here, let me try pushing this door. Oh, it's open. Oh, oh where is this now? Oh, oh dear, I'm home. Oh, it's in the closet again. Oh Lord, not again. I'm free. You're oh, out, dear. you're good. Thank you. Yes, yes, I'm out. Oh, thank you, dear. Yes, I, I don't quite know what happened there. I thought, I remember doing the audio tour, pushing the door. But I may have had one of my episodes again. Oh, dear. Oh, my. It's quite frightful. You know, the older you get, the more your brain plays funny tricks on you. I did it. But I thought I was there. Okay, well then, if you are good, then um, I will let you continue on. All right, dear. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to have some tea now. Yes, I shall calm my nerves. All right. Thank God I'm here. Good Lord. What a strange trick has been. Miriam, you are on the phone for over 45 minutes because you were trapped in the closet yet again. And Bertrand's not around to help you, is he? No, he, he's down at the pub again. But I relive so much of my, my youth there. Uh, I remember I was, I was 16 years of age. Yes, but Bert, Bert was, he was away on holiday and I got up to some, some antics. I saw things in the store window that I wanted. So I broke in. I stole everything, everything my heart desired. Someone called the Barbies. They heard the commotion from down the street. They brought me in. I was, I was charged with a crime. I spent over a month behind bars. And the guards, they, they fornicated with me without consent. Yet, in the end, I, I consented. And that's... As I was sworn, and Matthew, the evil one, as how he came to be. Yes. Oh, Lord. It has been quite a long day. I have to rest now. You understand, right there? Yeah, Miriam. Don't go make your tea. We'll come. We'll come back to this prep. Go ahead, Miriam. All right. Hey, Miriam. It's uh, it's four o'clock a.m. on the East Coast here. But, um, I believe it's 8 a.m. on your side, isn't it? Yes. It's morning, dear. Good morning. Yes. What are they doing today? I, I found, um, I found some hotels we're going to call in your area. Um, so there's, there's a hotel I found. Um, they have some really great reviews. Um. So I want you to read some of these reviews. Is that all right? Yes. Yes. A month ago, one out of five stars. Stay away from this hotel. Parasites. Most likely bed books. Bed books. Bed books. Yes. In the beds and refusing to pay my money back. Spent there two nights. The second morning I woke up was massive. Size, itchy bites all over my right arm, right hand, left foot. Yes. Three weeks ago, one out of five stars. Scots are very nice people, 
but in my contact with this hotel and the staff, I got a very poor service, and I felt that the staff was a bit nonchalant. I will never look, never, never book this hotel again. I won't recommend anyone else to do it. Two weeks ago, one out of five stars. Bed bugs, bed bugs, bed bugs. Be aware, the hotel full of bed bugs. The room was located on the ground floor of the main building. When I woke up, I was literally covered in bites. Why do I know this was a bed bugs? And not something else, because they were crawling in the morning on the walls. Oh dear, you want me to stay here? Yeah, I think it'll be good for your um, your fears and anxieties. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Click the more button, dear. Uh, all right, hold on. Oh, this is a long one. Two months ago, one out of five stars. Beware. Bed books. The worst place I've ever stayed at. Should be rated negative one. Booked for three nights. Biggest regret ever. On a quick glance, you think everything is okay, besides the most impolite facial expression of the lady staff or owner's wife. Not sure. First night, I got bitten by bed books. Yes, bed books. This was in room one. Hardly slept and could hardly sleep any nights thereafter. Got moved to a, quote, bigger and better, unquote, room described by the owner. Not much, much better. You know, it's a dirty carpet so they don't actually, don't vacuum or clean your room properly. Or change bedding at all. And you think after room one's experience, they would treat you any better? Nope. What if the day she left one towel in the room for four of us to share? Plus, they are not at a reception 24 hours, so we had to wait till the next morning at 7... 7.30 a.m. to clear any issues with them. This place... Should not be offering accommodation to anyone. Disgraceful service. Only because I try to be as civilised and understanding, I remained there instead of asking for a full refund and left the place the first morning. You'll be better off spending your money somewhere else. Yes. Oh, my. I don't want to stay there. Too bad, Miriam. Too much ago. What out of five stars? Stayed for one night and glad it wasn't more, as the room door couldn't even lock, and there was no one around to help. Dirty beds, bitten several times. Toilet was not cleaned, and not even had been available. Damp all around the window, and when booking, the person seemed very arrogant. They, they've broken down their review here. The rooms, 1.0. Servers. 1.0. Location. 3.0. I believe that's all out of 5. That, this is going to be a terrible experience, dear. Yeah, but it's probably not as bad as your room, right? No, no. You know, the town council, I think I'm possessed. They put out an order where I have to be locked up in my room. And... They put chains on me. They chain me to the bed. Uh, it's for your own good. I know, yes. Yes, yes. Ready? Yes. Good morning, Medical Health Hotel. How may I help you? Yes, hello there, dear. I'd like to book a hotel room. Okay, for when? Yes, it will be for hours the 6th through the 8th. Sorry? Yes. September 6th through the 8th. Starting from tonight? No, tomorrow, dear. From the 6th? Yes. Okay. Let's see what I've got. Hello? Okay, I'm sorry I don't have anything tomorrow. All right. Well, let's try. 
the Friday, the seventh through the tenth. The seventh? Yes. Okay, and what kind of room are you looking for? A single. Right, I don't have a single, unfortunately. I see you have a double. Yes, I've got a double. I've got a smaller double that I can use from the seventh to the tenth. All right, yes. Let's go with that one. Yes. Okay, if you just bear with me, I'll let you know the price, okay? All right. I'm just waiting for my system. It's just a little bit slow today. That's quite all right. So from the seventh, the Saturday, the Sunday, and the Monday, the price is two hundred and forty pounds. All right. May I inquire about your bed book policy? Sorry. Your bed book policy. I'd like to to encounter the bed books. I'm and sorry. You, 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 the line sort of echoing. I'm not really picking up what you're saying. Oh dear. Bed books. I'd like to purchase your bed books. You'd like to purchase? Her bed books. A what, sorry? Her bed books. The books, are, they bite here tonight. I'd like to purchase them. Purchase what? The bed books. What? Your bed books. The Sorry, bugs. I don't know what you're talking about. The bugs in your in your beds. They bite here not. I would like to purchase some. Hello. Oh dear. Uh, we're gonna call about uh making arrangements for when you uh when you inevitably pass on. Oh you want to burn me? Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to stick you in the oven at uh, 800 degrees for uh, 12 hours. How about that? I, I don't know about that. You know, they tried to cook me once before. I thought I was dead. I was just sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea to call. I don't want to. Oh, they're busy. Well, good on them, then. You know what? On second thought, here, we'll just have, have, um... I tell you what, Miriam, you need, um... You need to be, um... Encased in, in a block of cement. How about that? What? What? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just clicking on stuff and, and calling it at this point. Oh, all right. Hello, Sam, it's Cass Sales, I'm speaking. Yes, hello. I'm looking for a price for 24 square metres of cement. Okie dokie, is that a square metre or cubic metre? Oh, a cube, a cubic metres. A cubic metres, no problem. Can I take your name, please? Yes, it's Miriam Jones. Was that a Faye Jones, sorry? Miriam. Oh, sorry about that, Miriam. And do you have a contact number I can take in case I lose you? Oh, whatever's coming up on the caller I did here. I don't quite remember my own number these days. <laughs> it's not coming up with one, Miriam. It's um, a bit of a funny one. I can't see it, sorry. Oh, it's all right, you can come back to that in a second. Uh, do you have the postcode you need it going to? Oh, 
You know, I haven't got a clue. I have to get back to you on that. Well, I was just just looking for pricing, really. Yeah, no problem. It does depend uh, based on the part of the country you're in. Um, where are you near? Oh, I'm right in Edinburgh. In Edinburgh, no problem. Let me have a look for you, Miriam. Mm -mm -mm. And how much did you need? 24? Yes. Yeah, OK. Do you know um, what mix it is you need or what you're doing with it? Oh. Well, when I die, I want to be encased in concrete. So, at least enough to cover my casket. And out of the six... Well, it's two metres down, but uh, perhaps one metre across, but... I don't know what, what the mixture would be, but I, I, I just think need, I need to make sure I can't come back up. Okie dokie. Is it for uh, your footing, sorry? The line's not very good. It's, it's for when I die. I, I want to be a test in concrete. Okay, let me have a look for you. All right. Will it be used outside or inside, Miriam? Outside. Outside, no problem. And will it just have people on it or will it have, like, cars and that kind of thing? I know. It'll be out in the garden. I wish okay. it be buried out in the garden. No problem. Let me have a look for you. Uh, do, 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 do. One second, sorry. That's all right, dear. Okie dokie. So we would be looking about £94 a metre. Oh, good. It's not to 100 Oh, that, that's perfect, dear. All right. Yeah. I'll note this down and give it to my son. He's, he's setting up my arrangements. Uh, all right. Well, thank, thank you, dear. Thank you. No problem. Thanks, Miriam. Bye. Yes. Goodbye. Oh, well, Miriam, that's a good deal. Ninety-four pounds to um, encase your casket. Yes. Oh, I won't come out this time. No. You gotta make sure you can't come back. Miriam, are you here? Are you ready? Yes. What am I doing? Uh, you gotta order some food for Nunu. Oh, what have I ordered him? Uh, let's see here. We got something here that he wants you to say. Uh, Terry Maki Chut. Can you say that? Terry Maki Chut. Very good. Okay, let's go. Britannia Space. Yes, hello. Hello. Can I order for takeaway? Sure, what would you like, please? Yes. Yes, Dan. You want to take away a coming in or delivery? Take away, dear. Do you want a delivery or coming in? I'm coming okay, in. Okay, no problem. Yes. What would you like, please? We have... Yes. Uh, butter naan. Papa naan. Yeah, how many would you like? A two of those. Two of those, yeah? Yes. Do you have tiki masala? Chicken tiki. Sorry? Chicken tiki masala, do you have it? Yes, we do have chicken tikka masala, ma'am. All right. Two of those as well. Two chicken tikka masala, yeah. Yes. O yes. Okay. Do you have a tandoori oven? Do you have tandoori chicken? Yes, we have tandoori chicken as well, yeah. Oh, yes. I'll we'll get two of those as well. Two tandoori chicken, yeah, main course, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. So you have Terry Mocky Chute. Sorry? Terry Mocky Chute. Sorry, um, I, I've only got two papadam, two, one, uh, two chicken tikka masala, and two tandoori chicken. Yes, and Terry Mocky Chute. Sorry? Terry 
Marky, shoot. It's traditional, isn't it, in cuisine? My horseman wants it. I, I haven't any idea what it is exactly. I don't know what dish you're uh, he's referring to, ma'am. Perhaps you can ask the, the head chef. What's the name of it? Terry Marky Chute. That's a dirty word, ma'am. What do you mean, dirty? Sorry? What do you mean? Because that's, uh, that, that's not a dish. There isn't a dish called that. that. All right. The next one on his list here. Can I speak to your husband? Murdered chode. Sorry? Do you have murdered chode? No, we don't. Thank you. Well, how much will it be, dear? Forty pounds. You can come down and pick it up. Okay. Thank you. How long? Uh, half an hour. Okay. All right. I'll be there. Okay. Thank. You. My name is Miriam, by the way. Thank you. I just. All right. Thank you, Bye -bye. dear. They know what it is, Miriam. That's funny because I don't know what it is. I didn't take down the English translation. Now oh, Nunu, Nunu will be happy. Let's see if we have any more of these places. Hmm. I was looking at the map for Edinburgh, and um, that was just called. Uh, 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 something with the word spice in the name. Oh, here's another one with the word name spice in the name. Uh, let's look at their, their food here. Oh, yeah, this one's got the, the Hindi on the site. And the Taj Mahal on it. So I'm, I'm certain they'll, they'll know what this stuff is. Um, alright, let's go ahead and grab this number. I'm doing these for new now. Sort of. But also to fill in. Alright, we can get some tandoori chicken, chicken pakora, uh, chicken curry, and some terry monkey chute. Okay, Miriam? Does that sound good? Miriam? Yes! I'm very hungry. Yeah. After I got stuck in the jail, I, I, I got quite an appetite. You mean your closet? No, no. I was in the jail. There were bones everywhere. Uh, okay, Miriam. Maybe, maybe you need to clean your closet, you know? There shouldn't be human remains in your closet. No, no. It was a jail. Okay, Miriam. All right, we're going. Oh, let me pack my bags. You already said that in the intro. Oh, right, yes. Want this way? Yes, hello, dear. I'd like to place an order for takeaway. Yes, please. What yes. would you like? Chicken One chicken Sunday? curry. Sorry, what do you want? Yes. One chicken curry. Uh, chicken curry. Medium? Oh, very spicy, please. All right, chicken madras. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Chicken madras. Yes. Curry. It's spicy, nice. Yes. Okay. Two what else you like? Two samosa. We have the vegetables or meat samosa. Uh, meat. Meat samosa. One. Yes. One tandoori chicken. Tandoori chicken main meal. Yes. Yes. Two two piece, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Had one Terry Marky shoot. Sorry? Terry Marky shoot. So, sorry, say again. I don't understand. Yeah. Terry Marky shoot. Okay. My that's husband says that's the, the best thing on your menu. Okay, bye. Yes. Thank you. And one. What do you mean, thank you? I'm not an order in. Okay, bye-bye. Hello? Hello? 
Yes. Uh, Is that delivery or collection? Collection day. Collection. Okay. Thank you. Ready how for you. much is it? Eh? And how long? Uh, uh, Twenty minutes. Yeah. How much? Uh, Twenty-eight pound. Oh, that's what it is. Thank you. Why are you rushing me off the phone? Okay, thank you. No problem. No, no. You can't just Bye-bye. say, okay, thank you. I'm not done. Hello? 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 I can still hear you there, dear, but you haven't finished my order. Oh, I have all of them punches. Hello, can you tell me what, what business I found here? Excuse me? What business am I ringing? I can't understand what you're saying, madam. Yes. Where am I ringing? Say that again. Where am I ringing? You're ringing the Mayor's House Hotel in Edinburgh. Oh, yes. I had quite an experience there. There were bed books everywhere. What? Bed books. In all of your rooms. All your beds are covered in bed books. How are you still in business, dear? Okay, I don't understand you. I need to go, okay? No, you don't need to go. You're just rushing me off the phone. What? Say that again? Stop rushing me off the phone, dear. I'm reporting you. Reporting? Yes. What for? Bed bugs. Bed bugs? Well, that call ended abruptly. That's it for this show, for this week. Uh, you can find their information on TravelsWithMiriam.com. Subscribe to the show on iTunes. Leave a review. Thanks to all of our Patreons. Miriam, you have anything to say? I, I, I think I've got to go in the closet again. No, please don't. We've done enough of those. What? All right. Goodbye, Miriam. Yes, goodbye. Hello, dear. Why are you selling my jewelry?